Well, welcome back to Bash and Bottom with Benny. Today, we're shore fishing for my own lunch. Feeling hungry, but uh, there's plenty of walleye down here. Um, there's really good eating walleye too, so I only want one or two to keep, have a bit of fun, and then do a little fry up over on these benches there. So let's go and get them. Holy snap, and look at all this crap you're coming with. Let's get down there. So there's a few spots here that will hold the fish. You can see this side here, it's kind of pumping pretty hard. That's probably the most water coming out this side. So if you kind of cast in the middle, there's a bit of dead water. The fish will be on the side there picking off anything that comes through. So I'm going to head up to my little spot there. Ooh. Should be a rock climber. Look at all the rubbish people live here. Might have to come down and do a clean up one day. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a big walleye. Big Walter. Nice. We might have lunch. Let's go and give him a measure. Might even be too big. Yeah. 18 and a quarter inch walleye. Let's get a nice release on this guy. See if we can't get another one there. Nice fish for this waterway. You're almost lunch, fella. There he goes. It's gonna be a jack. Oh, he's nailed it too. Get him up here. Oh, give me back me rig, fella. You have nailed it. He's been hit as well there. See you, bud. Let's see if I can get a eater on this. Oh, right up there. Just took it straight away. Super aggressive. Oh, another big walleye. It's gonna be way too big again, but there is some classy walleye up here right now. Oh, he's playing me. Let's get him out over in here. Oh, that's a nice walleye. That's one of the biggest walleye I've caught in this system. I'm saying he's probably a 22, 23 incher. Nice. That's a stag fish. They came here with intentions to catch an eater, but I've caught that instead. The Ned rig, dominating. 22 incher. He's nice and yeah, he's fired up, off he goes. Woo! Time to switch her up to something a bit different. Gonna go heavier, just so I can get down feel the bottom a bit better. I guess the 3.8 jig head. This thing is dynamite. Minnows, um, Z-Man three and a half inch. Oh, that is a fish. I thought that was weed. <laughs> that was just a slower retrieve. Some lunges there. I'm thinking pike, yeah. A little death roll alligator style. It's a nice pike actually. Nice and fat and sprayed me and off. Just had a pike bath. Don't suggest that to anyone. And he has ruined, ruined my leader. Time to put a new one on. I'm gonna do the same thing as I did then, cast out in the flat and just slowly retrieve it back. I'm trying so hard for lunch here. A bit of pressure on Benny boy. Rugby jig could be really good here. Rugby jig, hot chartreuse in a five inch. Nice and bright. These are kind of made to bounce along the bottom of structure. Rocks, something like this is pretty easy, but it's more for rocky bottom. No dice. Oh, there we go. Good take. It feels pretty heavy. Oh, it's another big walleye. Where's the small walleye at? That's another hog. Treachery. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, he's right here at my feet. I'm caught here. No. Get out of there. Oh, nice. Look at that guy. Absolute healthy. So healthy. But again, too big deep. Oh, it's a 23 inch walleye. Look at that guy. Good catch, man. Oh, now he sliced my finger.
There he goes. Just lost me real good. He was a beautiful fish, but just a handful. Literally caught him, flipped him, sliced me. He kind of went upside down, but did get going there. Oh, fish. <laughs> I was wondering why my line wasn't going there. I'm like, what's going on here? Oh, it could be an eater. Where's my net? We got lunch. Oh, oh no. Let that be lunch. All right, I'm gonna get this guy quickly on the ice. Um, he's probably a 15 incher or so. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this guy ready. So he's, the flesh is nice and clean for cooking. All right, let's get him over there. I've used the cooler here, and you want to kind of make an ice slurry. So I've got, this water's really cold. I've got some ice in here. And dump in here. So the flesh cools down as quick as it can. The second thing you want to do is you really want the fish to be swimming. What you want to do is come, get a bit of blood flow. You see there's a bit of blood there. And put him in. He's going to be in there for a minute or two trying to swim and when he does that he's going to bleed himself out and when that happens you're going to get no blood in the flesh so this is a trick from back home in Oz I've put some salt in here as well but I'm um, going to get him cooled down here and uh, we'll be ready to eat a clean walleye for lunch let's go have a few more casts and I think I've got to go make a thumbnail so I might have to go and get my frying pan out of the car Ooh. Nice, took that off the bottom. That was first cast back. Oh, walleye. Another nice walleye. It took me forever to catch a fish. And then I, <laughs> I catch two eaters in a row. Nice. What I'm starting to find is with walleye is not to be afraid to throw bigger jigs. It's a five inch, which you think might be a bit too big, but They've been nailing it today, but that's just a beautiful stock standard little Saskatchewan waller. Let's get this guy back. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh no. I've nicked his, his gills there, so he's going to go in the barrel as well. There we go. I think I'm going to go something different. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Old Faithful. In love with these beauties. What are they? A four inch slam shaddy, they call them. Pretty sure I'm gonna get a fish almost straight away on that. There we go. Boy, that felt different. It's a Rocco. They do this like real distinctive shake. Cool. That's sick. They like those scented shads, man. That's good to know. In nine incher. See you bud. What a good little sesh that was. Um, some nice walleye there, some really good pike and a rock bass, pretty stoked about that. So I'm gonna take my gear up, fill it up the fish and show you the Benny Harris secret recipe for walleye. Perfect little spot here. It's just made for fish filleting. All right, deal. All right, which one was it? It was this guy here has been in here the longest. I'm gonna open this up because once I do the fillet, chuck him in on some ice down here. And you can see how white that flesh is. So white because I took the time just to nip it and let him swim himself out because all he's done is um, swim out all his bloods. There we go. Now if you're fishing, this here is probably one of the most deadly bits of bait you can use. It's got some bones to hold it stiff. Catfish and pike. Just absolutely love that little bit of bait. Straight on the ice. There's a few tables up on the bank over here, so I'm gonna grab my stuff, show you my secret fish recipe. A nice shaded spot over here, under the tree. Oh, I'm so excited for this feed. Beautiful little spot I found. I've uh, got some oil going in the fry pan. Got it cranked up, got a little shield going there. A couple of little things I like to do to make my fish a lot better is I like to use panko and what I like to do is I like to roll it so give her a good smashing the smaller the pieces are 
the more you get on your fish and the crispier it will be. So and then over here, I've got two eggs I've kept on ice, bit of taco seasoning. That really elevates the fish in my eyes and it's just one of the best things you can have with it. So a little, little dusting. Give her a little dip and then straight into your panko. I like to do one at a time. Just if you fit too much in there, sometimes it doesn't get covered as well. Doesn't get any fresher than that. What you like, I like to do is just, oh yeah, you can see how she's bubbled up straight away. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Asian Thai salad. Pre-mixed one is absolute fire. Double fork. Oh, look at that. You're gonna have to trust me when I say this is like some of the best fish you'll ever eat. Now you wanna make sure you drain all the oil off because if you don't, it will go through you like a bottle of laxatives. It will blow your socks off. And there you have it, perfect waller. Wanna try it out? Let me know. I'd love your feedback on the recipe. Looks crispy as. <laughs> yep. Just how I remember it. Thanks for bashing bottom with Benny. Time for me to go and eat this. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. We'll see you next time.